got a function f which is force subtract the uh, logarithm of 3x and we're told that x can be a real number and x is bigger than 0. We're asked to solve the equation f of x is equal to 0. So let's write down what we're asked to solve. We are solving 4 subtract 3 um, 4 subtract the natural logarithm of 3x is equal to 0. So I'm going to add the natural logarithm of 3x to both sides. So 4 is equal to the logarithm of 3x. Then I'm going to take uh, exponentials of both sides. So e to the power of 4 would therefore be equal to 3x. So x must be e to the power of 4 divided by 3. x is equal to e to the power of 4, all of that divided by 3. Well, you could obviously write that as a third e to the power of 4 as well. Now we're asked to sketch the curve uh, y is equal to f of x as well. So let's uh, sketch that in two stages. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the normal log, log graph. So the normal log graph looks like this. Okay, and you need to know that. That crosses there at 1, 0, and this is y is equal to the natural logarithm of x. Now what's happened in this case here? Well, uh, let's do the transformation. Firstly, let's think about um, the fact that it's a negative natural logarithm of 3x. So the first thing I'm going to draw in my stages here is I'm just going to draw the negative logarithm graph. So that's obviously looks like this but goes something like that. So it still crosses at 1, 0 and this is why is the negative logarithm of x. Okay, the reason that is, is everything above the axis is now below and everything below is now above the axis. So that's the negative logarithm of x. Now let's make it the negative logarithm of 3x. Well, all the, the 3 inside the brackets there, inside the log, well, what that does is it does the opposite of what you think. It squashes everything by a third. So this here, this point now here, would therefore be a third 0, and it would look something like that. Okay, and then what does the 4, the 4 at the front, so this is y is negative, the natural logarithm of 3x. And lastly, what does the um, what does the 4 do? Well, the 4 just moves it up 4 units. Okay, so it moves it up 4 units in that direction. It's going to move up something like this now. Um, but where does it cross this axis here? Well, Remember in part A, you solve where f of x is 0, where this is equal to 0, and you found it was equal to 0 at the value, um, where is it, e to the 4 divided by 3. So this point here would be e to the power of 4 divided by 3 and 0. So this, this graph here is y is equal to, um, what is it, 4 take away the natural logarithm of 3x part, find an expression for the inverse function. So I'm going to go over here for part C. Well, let's let our function y be equal to 4, subtract the natural logarithm 3x. Now when we find the inverse, we swap x and y, so x is equal to 4, subtract the natural logarithm of 3y. And now we just make y the subject. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add log logarithm 3y to both sides and take away x. So I'm going to get the natural logarithm of 3y would be 4, subtract x. Then I'm going to take exponentials of both sides, so 3y is e to the power of 4 subtract x. And then I'm going to divide by 3 so that y is equal to a third e to the 4 subtract x. And I'm going to rewrite that as f to the negative 1 of x is equal to a third e to the 4 subtract x, just like that. Okay, and there we go, we've got the inverse function. Now we've got a new function to find as follows, and it says show that f of g of x is equal to this thing where a and b are integers to be found. So g of x is e to the 2 subtract x. So for part d, g of x is equal to e to the 2 subtract x. And we're asked to show f of g of x. We're asked to find out what f of g of x is. So we're going to put g of x into our function f where our function f is this. So let me just write down our function f to remind us. Our function f is 4 subtract the natural logarithm of 3x. So what we're going to do to work at f of g of x, we're going to put this in here everywhere where we see x in here. So let's do that. So f of g of x 
is going to be equal to 4 subtract the natural logarithm of 3 e to the 2 subtract x, like that. Now, what do I do at this stage? Well, I can use one of my log rules. I know that log AB is log A plus log B. So what I could do is I could split up this here. Okay, so remember all of this is takeaway. So I'm going to say this is 4 subtract, and let's split this up, the natural logarithm of 3 plus the natural logarithm of e to the 2 subtract x, like that. Now what can I do? Well, what I can do is say that's 4 subtract the natural logarithm of 3 plus ln e to the 2 x is 2 minus 2 subtract x is just 2 subtract x. And now I can take it away. So this is 4 subtract logarithm of 3 and negative 2, so it would be subtract 2 and negative negative x would be plus x. So we have got 4 take away 2 is 2 subtract ln 3 add x. Now, is that in the form we wanted? Well, it's x plus a number take away ln b. So let's write it in that well, x plus 2 take away ln 3. And so our a is equal to um, 2. So in this case, a is equal to the 2. And our b is equal to the 3 from here. And we have it in the right form.